welcome to Abilene Christian University's live visit today with our theater department. I'm Tamara Long, the Vice President for Enrollment. We are so excited uh, to be with you here on campus today and can't wait to introduce you to some of the wonderful uh, people from our theater program. So first, I have a wonderful student here uh, with, with me today uh, to the left. Uh, this is Rachel Rosser. She is a junior uh, visiting with us here uh, from Denison. Well, she's home here at ACU. Yeah. Uh, but she is from Denison, Texas originally, and then the chair of the department, uh, Don Meeks is with us today as well. So we are excited to introduce you to our department, this program, to talk to you more and take your questions. So please use the live chat bar, text those questions in. Uh, we wanna answer them and help you better understand more about our amazing program here at Abilene Christian University. So theater and the arts um, have a longstanding tradition here at ACU. We love our students and the talent they bring to us. It is a competitive program. I'm always impressed with our students. So I would love uh, to introduce you to Rachel and I'm gonna ask her to just share a little about how did you choose ACU um, and, and why you chose theater here at ACU. So if you'll just let us know. Yeah, um, so my youth minister and his wife both met here at ACU. Uh, my uh, youth minister's wife, Sarah, she is, uh, she was, she's a teacher now, but she studied education here. And at the time in high school, that is what I wanted to do. So uh, on my, one of my college visit days, I came here uh, to check that out. And I also did theater uh, in high school. So I was curious about the, the theater department, but I wasn't sure that that's the path that I was going down. Um, but as soon as I checked it out and looked at it and saw all the opportunities and just just, just the Performing Arts Center in general and just met a few of the faculty and students and stuff, um, I kind of just realized that, that that is what I wanted to do and where, where I should be going. <laughs> um, uh, so as soon as I saw it, I kind of realized that was the path that I was going to start going down. And so then I started to do the whole audition process and here I am, but that is... Here she, here she is, and, and she's being a little um, shy and not telling you how talented she is. Oh, okay. Uh, so tell us about the role you're getting to play um, in the Homecoming um, Musical and a little bit more about your, your talents that are quite remarkable. Okay. Um, so I got the role of the queen uh, in the Homecoming Musical Cinderella that's coming up in the fall. Um, the queen is a, a great character. She's the mother of the prince who obviously falls in love with Cinderella and just getting to see the side of a person who is advocating for the <laughs> prince and wants him to really find true love. Um, and so I'm really excited to play a part. I haven't really gotten to play a motherly kind of part yet. Um, and so I'm really excited to play with that and play with the personality of the queen and, um, and do that, it's just gonna be a really fun show. I mean, Cinderella, yes. who doesn't love Cinderella? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. Uh, that's awesome, no, that's that's fantastic. I, I am very excited about Cinderella, <laughs> the show. Every year, the Homecoming Musical at ACU is a love tradition that we look forward uh, to hosting and celebrating with our students and watching the talent um, students and alumni come back from all over for the Homecoming Musical. It's always much anticipated. I know the year we did Les Mis, I didn't know how we could possibly pull that off. <laughs> As a university program, I had gotten the chance to see that, that show in London and I was blown away, um, moved to tears. And so our, our productions really are quite remarkable. So uh, the heart behind that is definitely our faculty and the way they come alongside our students. So Don, if you don't mind talking a little bit about your program, the majors that you offer students, um, and why you're here. Why are you a part of the ACU Theater Department? Sure. Well, thanks for having us here today. This is such a delight and treat to be here with you and Rachel. Um, well, uh, we believe in, in the calling. Um, we believe that what we do is missional and um, we seek to be changers for the world, to bring light into the darkness and, and to, be, to be authentic storytellers. And so I, I'm really honored. Um, I stepped into the role as chair about five years ago. Uh, continued to seek to honor Adam Hester and his wife Donna, who led our program valiantly for 35 plus years. 
oh, all the thanks <laughs> there. Um, big, big shoes to fall into. Uh, we offer seven tracks, Tamara, and we have a new track. It's just, we're just moving into year two and it's our dance track. And we are so excited about that. Yes, I said dance. <laughs> and we have this beautiful woman that's helping to direct and lead us, guest artist Lily Below, mm -hmm. who danced with the New York City Ballet. And not only is she an extraordinary ballerina, wonderful teacher. She's a tapper. She's a hip hopper. She does it all. And so this has been so exciting. So of those seven tracks, we offer acting, we offer theater ministry, which we found to be a really unique mm -hmm. track. Um, design and tech, which covers, that encompasses a whole uh, variety of things, house management, stage management, um, lighting, sound, scenic design, costume design, you name it. Um, and I'm gonna come back to that because we have a brand new faculty person that's joining us for that particular track. Theater education, we were just talking about mm -hmm. our love for education with Rachel before. And uh, did I mention directing and then uh, this dance track and our biggest population at present is the musical theater track. Fantastic. Uh, thank you, Dawn. That's uh, that's excellent uh, for students to hear from. So, um, Rachel, I have a question for you. Mm. Uh, might be a hard one, but so far, <laughs> what has been your favorite class to take in theater? And if My you can just talk about class. what that looks like and maybe just talk about your favorite class, but also how classes, uh, what classes are like in the theater department, size mm. and, and role. Relationships with faculty. Yes. Um, I, well, I would have to say that my favorite, I, I wouldn't say it's an actual class, but my voice lessons mm -hmm. um, we, with Carrie, uh, who is, is not going to be with us uh, any longer, which is so sad, but um, our voice teacher and sometimes vocal director for shows, uh, those lessons, those like one on one, uh, just really getting to focus mm -hmm. on the things that I need to work on specifically with my voice. I just love those. Uh, you get so comfortable with your teacher that you, you're you comfortable uh, messing up and not being perfect. And because in order to find the way to sing correctly, you have to be able to like be vulnerable and you know sometimes let the bad stuff come out uh, before you can fix it. Um, and then I feel like for my for a class class, my very first acting class with Adam Hester uh, was probably one of the biggest like growth classes that, that you could take for any freshman. Um, you just learn so much so fast and you really get like immersed into the world of learning how to act and and work with other people and, uh, and just really being able to take direction and just work on like that big part of the aspect of musical theater. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, those would have to be my my favorites. That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, and and want you to know, obviously, theater is very much an experiential based learning mm -hmm. program um, here at ACU. But we we take experiential learning very seriously here. It happens out of the classroom um, across our disciplines and across our majors. Mm -hmm. uh, what I love about theater is how tangible it is to talk about that. Mm -hmm. But I want you to be assured, students, as you consider um, as you are considering a potential major, uh, that across our disciplines, uh, hands-on studying and training is, is so critical to what we do, and it's transformative. As Rachel said, that's it's a pivotal growth moment when you are mm -hmm. able to have those experiences um, and learning in and out of the classroom. Uh, so Don, do you mind uh, telling us a little bit more um, about your alumni, what some of your notable alumni are doing right now? We have some pretty pretty remarkable um, young alumni mm -hmm. that are out there uh, making a, a lasting impression. And with that, if you don't mind also sharing um, what it looks like for spiritual formation to be a part of our theater program, I think that's a very unique aspect to ACU's theater department. Uh, the way to which we are intentional about the integration of, of spiritual formation of you, not just the academic and intellectual mm -hmm. formation of you as students. So, yes. How much long? How much time do you have? <laughs> well, I'll catch you off if you go too long. <laughs> um, ah, I love talking about our students, and I love having the opportunity to speak to what our alums are doing and who they are, because they really are the heart of our program. They continue to give back. Um, just to highlight a few folks here, um, we have Ben Jeffrey, who many of you have probably are aware of. He's been playing the role of Pumbaa in The Lion King now for the last 10 plus years. 
uh, just a wonderful human being who continues to invite our students into his home for Bible studies, for uh, invitation to church time, um, whatever, whatever the students may need as they land boots, you know, on the ground, if you will, to New York City. Uh, working to, to lend a hand. Um, Ian Cochran just finished. And of course, everybody right now is on this furloughed hiatus with, with all that's happening. But we know that everything's coming back and we're so excited about that. So Ian Cochran right now um, is furloughed, but he, I had the opportunity to see him. He's one of our newer graduates and he uh, covered, I believe, eight different roles in Hamilton. Oh my word, I got to bring my son. And the night he was on in Dallas with the national tour, he covered two different roles, just extraordinary. Uh, Laura Seibert Young, who's toured with Hugh Jackman. She has an incredible voice, beautiful dancer, such a spirit. Uh, that's completely God-led. She has performed multiple times on Broadway and continues to give back, has come back to perform. Jasmine Richardson, this amazing, extraordinary black American who is, uh, again, currently furloughed, but has been, I think this is her third Broadway show, and she's also toured the country. And so we're excited about seeing her back on Broadway soon as well. So it's just exciting. And as you probably heard, it's hard to really separate uh, the spiritual formation piece from our training, because as I started, we really believe they go hand in hand. We seek to find themes within our season, uh, starting class period or rehearsals with a prayer, with a scripture to dig in deep and talk about the implications of that message and what we're working to convey as, as, convey as storytellers. Mm -hmm. No, that's that's awesome. Uh, we are so proud, so proud of our alumni, and and equally proud of our current students um, and the talent that they yes. they bring into the classroom and their experience. <laughs> so, as you can imagine, students that are joining us today, you are likely a part of of theater programs in your schools, and they're they're demanding on your time and energy. And as you're thinking about college, and I think probably wrestling with, is this a track and path you want to take? I think hearing from a student, um, based on some questions that have come in, Rachel, I think explaining to them. What does it look like to be a theater major in college? Mm -hmm. What is the time commitment? Um, and what are the what are the aspects that you have found about ACU outside of theater to be enjoyable and fun? Yes. Um, okay. So <clears throat> obviously, theater uh, has the same time commitment with with rehearsals in high school. Uh, you know, starting we start around seven and it'll end at eleven uh, every night. But then also having you know your whole day being theater classes and maybe one or two uh, core classes. And then we also have these directed scenes where we have to find rehearsal times for those, which are like class assignments. Um, so yes, it's a it's a very big time commitment. But I uh, this last year uh, managed to also rush and pledge to be in a club. I'm in Kojo Kai right now. Um, and as long as you really plan ahead and you really, um, if you know it's what you want and you want to find something outside, because we obviously have a, a built-in family and community when you get into the theater department, because there's not very many of us. Um, so sometimes it's really nice to get outside of that and find another community to you know sometimes you want people who don't who aren't in your world and people that you can really you know connect mm -hmm. with outside of that um, and so finding that was really awesome and there are a lot of ways to to get outside of, of theater <laughs> occasionally there's intramural and club and uh, there's an acapella group that I was in also foundation um, and there are just a ton of things that you can get involved with but yes, you just really have to like be committed, plan ahead, make sure your schedule works because theater is a very large time commitment, but it's worth it. Obviously, it's what you're here for. So <laughs> it should be taking up most yeah. of your time. Yeah, so that, that, that's fantastic, uh, Rachel. It, it is very true. There are lots of ways to get involved at ACU. Theater is a demanding major. Many majors are demanding. Mm -hmm. And it's about uh, embracing the opportunity. So ACU has over 100 clubs and organizations. Uh, Kojo Kai, the organization that Rachel's a part of, is among our Greek life often known as sororities and fraternities. Uh, we have we call them social clubs here at ACU because they're specific to us. Uh, they're all service and faith-based uh, groups of men and women uh, that gather together uh, for service and for community. And it's one of the many ways students can get plugged in and get involved. So if you're interested in something, 
I promise you could probably find somebody that started a club about it. Uh, there's, I know there's camping and canoeing and yeah. um, hiking and all kinds of things, probably archery. There's, there's lots of options. So we want students to get plugged in and get involved. So um, next question is going to be for you, Don. But before I ask it to you fully, I'm going to talk a little bit about applying because students are asking about how do they audition? Yes. How do they apply? Mm -hmm. So first off, um, you apply for admission to the university. That's a given. Uh, you that you're going to do that at multiple schools. Uh, students right now that are juniors, you're about to be seniors. I consider you a senior now. <laughs> Your fellow seniors have graduated. They're coming to college. We can't wait to celebrate them. Uh, and we look forward to enjoying uh, being with you during your senior year. So your application to admission uh, for ACU will open up on July the 1st. So by being a part of this experience today, you're going to get more information about applying. And we look forward uh, to you applying. And we invite you uh, to apply. The application is important. We want to get to know you. That application is how uh, we we get to know who you are as a student and what you're interested in. It's also that first point of interest where you indicate what you're hoping to study, which if it's theater and you put that there, uh, that then puts you in process and connection with Don's department to be notified about auditions. So that is pretty important. So if you were to apply, for example, as an undeclared major, we don't know that you're interested in theater and you might miss out on the audition opportunity. So that's pretty important. And you can always change your major, but that audition is really important. I'm gonna have Dawn talk about that in just a moment. But your application to ACU is an online application. We then want your high school transcript. Uh, we really are looking for how you've done in high school, more so than even a test score. Uh, ACU is test optional for this next year uh, based on the inability to take some tests so you know that you can apply test optional but want to point out that to be considered for our most prestigious academic scholarships uh, as well as honors college that the test score is is required for that you can be considered for other scholarships including theater scholarships without without that test score but want to make sure that's known um, but I want, want you know too we you we uniquely look at theater uh, as an academic talent that's not always uh, displayed well in your transcript or in a test score we know that uh, you have some remarkable skills and are going to study in a field that's always it's hard maybe to capture the the academic ability that you have and that's where Don comes in and so your audition really does weigh into your academic scholarship that we provide you um, upon acceptance into the theater major here at ACU so just want to make sure you know about the application that that's coming mm -hmm. and we look forward to you applying but Don if you can talk a little bit about auditions how students get a get a spot in the program mm -hmm. um, and then also how the program plays out for Temper New York that's been asked a couple of times yes uh, well, we're really grateful for the unbelievable support that we're given uh, in this particular major, um, like all of them. Um, we, we just believe in our students such shining stars. And my part of my favorite thing to do is to engage with our prospective families and students. We are audition based. Um, and it, it, uh, within that, that is not uniquely two within each track. We really seek to pray over our students um, to bring in the, the right grouping of students. And as you are auditioning for us, um, we, will, we seek to encourage you. We want this to be a right fit for you. Um, we want you to feel like you're finding everything that you need in terms of support, in terms of intentionality. We spend a lot of time one-on-one -on -one coaching, keeping our classes very small. It's not uncommon that you might have a 10-person a acting class as you're engaging. A lot of one-on-one um, -on -one accessible time if you're going to a professional audition for the summer. We love doing that kind of work. And as you have questions, uh, rising students and those seniors coming in, I love engaging with those students. Um, that is, again, one of my favorite things to do. If you're a musical theater track student, for example, we would ask for a set amount of monologues that you would submit through um, a, a platform called getaccepted.com. Um, in that, you would upload all of that um, information about yourself, your headshot, your resume, your singing performance, your dance performance, your acting performance. It changes with each track. If you were design tech, you would be presenting a portfolio. Oftentimes now that's a digital composition that you're putting together and you're talking through these designs that you've done for costume design, scenic, lighting, stage management. Uh, the same for acting or directing. And all of that information is uh, located on the website and there is a link directly to get accepted. But we are so one-on-one, -on -one, it's not uncommon that I'm texting back and forth with students in this time of COVID. I've been Zooming and FaceTiming and I've been having a ball getting to know these students closely. So that's a shorthand example. And we love then inviting the students back for a callback on campus. 
No, that's great. Um, that is that is excellent. It is very competitive. Um, and at the heart, we're looking to find students that fit the program, that, that have the talent set that we believe we can cultivate uh, to become successful in their careers. Uh, that is our goal, to help you meet your goals. And, and Don does a great job of helping students uh, facilitate that. Don, do you mind t talking a little bit about the senior showcase? Um, some students have asked about agents. Um, this is definitely outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> yes, yes, um, yes. But the Senior Showcase, the way that students can finish up at, at Temper in New York, if you can talk a little bit about yes, that. Yes, and I realized I was remiss in, in your question about Showcase, so I'll, I, I'll loop that in. So we have two ex, uh, exciting opportunities. We have a program that's called the Tepper Program. It's run through Syracuse University. And years ago, the Tepper Theater Program was looking to find ways in which their students would have a shorthand, a, a bridge, if you will, into New York City. And you think, well, they're in New York, but they're way, you know, they're up upstate New York where it's cold. And they were having some of the same challenges that we were as well. And so at that time, our chair, former um, Adam Pester, our former chair, was looking to seek to either create something or find something that best aligned for us. And so in comes this amazing program. We have participated for the last nine years in this program. Lisa Nicholas, the artistic director, has come out here. In fact, she was joined by James Caleri, who is the graduate director of the Columbia MFA acting program, one of the best in the nation. And if you look him up, he has uh, worked as a casting director all over the nation, both for film and for Broadway work. Um, and so in that, this Tepper program is a program where our students live their senior semester in New York City. They're taking dance classes at Broadway Dance Center. They're taking classes with people from Juilliard, from the, the best of the best working on Broadway, Manhattan Theater Club. I mean, frankly, I'm jealous. <laughs> I always want to climb in their suitcase and join them. And they're learning the city. Along with that, they're engaging with these amazing professionals, these agents, these casting folks and oftentimes we're then bringing these casting agents these talent agents right into our backyard here at ACU we know that we're in West Texas and it's very very important that we're bringing New York we're bringing LA right to our students and then back again so they're confident in that area showcase is a final uh, piece that we put together it's a 60 minute performance for 10 years we launched it here on site and decided nope we need to go to New York. We need to do this Broadway thing. So we, we rent an off-Broadway house right in the heart of Times Square. And our students are there, are coached, and um, we hire professional directors, casting folks, many of which are our alums. And we invite th these industry folks. Uh, we just showcased in early March. I am very excited to say we had three uh, Broadway callbacks and all of, of those students that participated were all invited to engage with agents, professional wow. folks in New York and LA. So no, that, is, that is awesome. God is working. <laughs> that is awesome, Don. And, and it highlights the importance for us of taking our students out of the classroom and even out of Abilene. I uh, want to take a moment to, to share with you students uh, the study abroad opportunities that ACU affords our students. And theater students have that ability to study abroad. Um, obviously, Don just shared the New York experience, which is is an abroad experience. I just happens to still be in the United States. But we take our students to three different sites a year round that operate at Leipzig, Germany, Oxford, England, Montevideo, Uruguay. Uh, ACU just purchased new to us, it's definitely not a new home, in Oxford, England, a new facility. We've been operating there for 40 years, but we now own a pretty exciting facility that'll have a grand opening this fall. And we are very excited about that for our students. But that's important to ACU that we are providing you with these opportunities uh, to see the world, to have global experience experiences, cross-cultural encounters, and, and really that is a part of the heart of what makes ACU a different place. And so students, we want you to be planning and preparing for that as you think about your journey through ACU, considering that it, it does look different for theater students. I, I, can, I can definitely attest to that. It looks different, but it, it is an opportunity. And I think Dawn might have something to share a little bit more about the study abroad opportunities that we can afford our students. Yes, absolutely. So we've had a number of our students that have participated in the Oxford program. I mean, it's just a perfect fit. Shakespeare and the history, the lineage there with the Royal Shakespeare Company, um, the connection to the West End, that has just been a really lovely uh, hand in glove experience for our students. 
um, in fact, uh, Dr. Joe Stevenson, who often works with our Shakespeare Festival, that, by the way, let me just make that pitch, um, we produce a Shakespeare Festival, and uh, that's often in rotating rep, and he oftentimes has been part of that process working as a historical dramaturg with us. And so he's uh, oftentimes engaging with those students abroad, and then, of course, as we mentioned, living in New York City, or many of the other opportunities that Tamara mentioned. Also, LA Film Studies has been a marvelous fit for us. Again, we know it's on American soil here, uh, but it's been a wonderful way for those that are interested in engaging in film, and we're having more and more do that, participate in film festival. Uh, and let me just also uh, shift in saying, as, as you mentioned that, our um, guest director, Lily, uh, actually is has dual citizenship. She's from Hungary. Many don't know that, but uh, calls New York City mostly her home. And with that fine faculty, uh, Rachel had mentioned this shift. We have an exciting Emmy-nominated person that's traveled the globe who is coming and joining us, David Utley from New York City in the fall scenic design. And another surprise up our sleeve about our uh, incoming guest artist for musical theater soon too. So <laughs> excited Yay. about these folks from all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, no, that is awesome. That is awesome, Dawn. I'm always very proud of our our program and the way it attracts such incredible talent, uh, such as Rachel. So Rachel, do you okay. mind? Um, we got to come back to the students. Students okay. want to hear from students, <laughs> yes. uh, for sure. And so Rachel, I would love for you to just share a little bit more about the opportunities that this program affords you mm -hmm. uh, from the courses, but mm -hmm. also the out of classroom experiences, the, the different types of productions you're getting to be a part of. So mm -hmm. just, just tell your story of what you're getting to experience as a student. Um, okay. Well, for opportunities outside uh, of classroom and all, we have we have our community theater, the Paramount, uh, which was uh, going to be doing Chicago this summer, sadly, got canceled. Um, but there are those kind of outside opportunities. But there's also something called SETC, uh, where we have students travel, usually some different places. What is the often in Jackson, often Mississippi. Jacksonville, Mississippi, um, where you go and you audition for some summer stock shows, which is where, you know, you have a job all summer uh, on one show with a company and you audition for all of these different people and have people hopefully ask you back and hopefully you get a job working uh, in that way and you make connections through that. We have one student who uh, who got a job in summer stock and now has that connection and has that ability to keep going back and, and know more people and get more jobs on shows. Um, so that is one of the many things. Uh, there's also Film Fest, which Don had mentioned. Um, I haven't actually gotten to be in one yet, but I'm hoping to this year. I'm really excited to try out film acting because that is something that we, even though we don't have a specific track for that, we are able to explore that, um, that path through Film Fest, and we have a lot of amazing people in our department who direct and act and produce and do all of those things who are just amazing, like really produce like top-notch kind of stuff that you wouldn't really expect to see. Um, and so the, that's one of the really exciting opportunities. Just in general, uh, when we're in class and in the department, we have tons of opportunity for performance and you know just singing, acting, whatever it is. We have directed scenes where we get to do extra work, playing different characters, playing multiple characters at the same time. Recitals where we get to really showcase our voice and what we can do there. And we even have a, had a dance show this last, and we've had a dance show the last two years. Um, uh, we're not gonna have it this next year because we're having a, a big spring show. Um, <laughs> But the dance show is a big opportunity for especially the dancers who are now coming into our new dance track to really showcase their talents. Um, so there's really opportunity like across the board just to really you know show everything and, and be able to mm -hmm. explore everything that you want to do in the future. Now so. that's awesome. There's lots lots of different lots of different flavors within the theater department. Yeah. Um, everything <laughs> from that technical behind the scenes mm -hmm. design and costume mm -hmm. development to to dance. Um, it's really quite remarkable the, the infusion of talent and the way they come together uh, to create and produce. Uh, so Dawn, do you mind talking, we've had several questions about students that maybe um, end up maybe not choosing to be a theater major. Uh, can they still minor in theater? And can they be a part of productions? Can they audition? Can they be a part of the theater department? Maybe not as a major, but wanting to continue that um, love and passion yes. in college, but maybe not uh, pursue it as a career. 
Yes. Uh, so first of all, if you are interested in pursuing um, this passion as a minor rather than a major, the lovely thing about our program is that you don't have to walk through the rigorous audition process. You simply can, uh, you can align with your counselor, your academic counselor is helping you schedule your classes and your major. And um, you are able and invited to engage in classes that you otherwise would not have that open door opportunity to engage with. Intro to theater and some of our beginning acting classes. In fact, one of my favorite classes, honestly, is as we have a beginning acting class that is for non-majors. And I just finished teaching it and I just love engaging with those students. I love getting to know these students from all over in their backgrounds and we would pray together. And at the very end, we were just so sad that the semester was ending. And I said, okay, cook out at my house. Um, it's such a special time. The other thing I'll say is that all of our productions are open to all majors. So whether you are a, a, a major major focus, a minor focus, or otherwise, we invite you to come on and engage and audition through that process. The best time, the most opportunity for that is our homecoming musical. As Tamara said, that is our biggest mount. It's held downtown in the convention center. This is where all the national tours come through. It's a 2100 seat theater. It's bigger than most Broadway houses with a full, you know, 35 piece live orchestra. We often are bringing in national tour sets or guest artists that are designed designing for us. Catherine that joined our costume faculty as the director of that program two years ago joined us from Long Beach in LA. She had all these ties to all these professional folks with Modern Family and all these, these movies and films that you would know. So just amazing opportunities for all students on campus. No, that's, that is excellent. That is outstanding uh, and, and very helpful. I think, Rachel, it'd be great to hear from you um, about um, the actual classroom size, how available faculty are, uh, mm -hmm. what faculty relationships look like. I hope you all are getting a sense for uh, this really, I've known Dawn for <laughs> over 20 years, like this is her. Uh, <laughs> she does invite students into her home, that is genuine, but I think hearing from, from you, Rachel, your yeah. experience as a student, mm -hmm. the class size, how faculty are available and what that looks like. Um, so really coming in, especially with how small our class size is, my class only had 12 people. Um, and even then, I think a few had come and gone. And so in our classes, and a few of them are also tech majors. So in our acting classes and our dance classes, we really are have, there's not very many. It's not like we're having to spread out time or, or uh, not have that one-on-one -on -one attention because there's so little of us we're able to really like dig deep into like each individual person. Um, in regards to relationship with faculty, it is very easy to go and ask. I mean, we have questions all the time that we feel free, you know, they have pretty much an open door policy. <laughs> Anytime you have any questions, or any concerns or even just you know when you when you don't get the part you want or you don't get and you want to just know how you can do better and they will be honest with you and really tell you like what needs to be done and and what you need in order to succeed um, and so it's really easy to go to the faculty that's what we kind of encourage is instead of talking to each other about things is to really just talk to the faculty who are there to help you because all they want to do is help us succeed and so go Going to them and talking to them first is always uh, the best decision to make because you have the most clarity in that way. But um, we get a lot of personal one-on-one -on -one attention and it's because of that like competitive, you only have so many people in your class um, and it's, it's the best, it's the best thing. I, I enjoy it immensely. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. I, and I can tell you that's, that's the heart of ACU faculty. Uh, we are a place that is committed to undergraduate teaching and learning and our classrooms are taught and led by the very best in their field um, across mm -hmm. across disciplines um, from the sciences to the arts and that is who we are. We're a teaching school, that, a teaching university that wants to, to create critical thinkers and we want you to be inspired to learn and live a lifetime of learning and pursuing knowledge um, that, that far exceeds these critical exciting for young adult years of your life. Uh, so finally, as we kind of start to wrap it up, one last question for you, Dawn, and then we'll we'll wrap up. Mm -hmm. um, and that is, at, at the heart of who we are is a Christian university. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is core to our mission and our beliefs. And so Dawn, if you can just talk about how that is a part of 
the teaching and learning that happens. How do you do that as a department? How do you bring a faith into learning and, and faith into the arts can, can be nuanced uh, in, in unique ways. And that is a part of us being a light in the world, most definitely. So Dawn. Absolutely. Well, I think that first begins with you all. We pray over every incoming audition. And as we circle back around and we look at all the applications and all of the video reels, we pray over those. It's really important to us as we seek God's guidance that we're moving in the right direction. Because as I mentioned before, we are really seeking to create um, artist missionaries in the field, whether that's New York City or Houston or LA, Dallas, Texas, Austin, Georgia, um, Atlanta, you know, wherever that may be, that um, those folks are, they're brave and they're walking courageously because of their rooted faith in what they do. So we seek to do that as we engage in text, as we pour over and pray over season decisions about what shows we're doing. I know we mentioned Cinderella will be producing Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat in April, and I'm really grateful to get to helm that, work with Lily Below on that produ uh, production, our choreographer, the story of Joseph and what that means. Sometimes that is not as obvious in the statement um, in what that might mean. It, it might be um, a production of, say, Next to Normal, where it's about family dynamics and the journey of that. How do we love on one another? How do we love on people when we're hurting? Right now, our nation is hurting. How do we do that? How do we sit down or get down on our knees and pray with our students? And when we don't have the answers, I'm always honest and transparent to say, I don't know, I'm gonna pray over this and let's find our way together so that we can be co-learners in this process, in this journey. Oh, that's that's excellent. Um, and want you students to know that the theater department touches every student at ACU and, and impacts them through our cornerstone, through our a very unique learning environment during the freshman year. Uh, theater always produces an incredible uh, production for our freshman class that's very unique to them. And, and we are always excited uh, for the work that, that your program does with our students. Uh, we have been truly blessed to be with you today. Uh, the chat bar has been, a, has been great, as well as the text messages. I know that Dawn um, and others from the theater department will be following up. More than anything, I hope you'll visit campus. Come see us, uh, come see this place. Uh, that is the best way to know if this is the right place for you students, is that, is that visit to campus. And we, we wanna extend that invitation. Uh, virtually has been great, but we hope to see you in person soon. And we are just hope you have a great week and a great summer. Take care.